general tarot card reading. Whenever this finds you is when I believe it's me to find you, in my personal opinion. Ooh. I love the way the universe works. I like how cards just flip the way they want to flip. We have the moon card here. 12,000 energy of Pisces. Learning to heal. Learning to let go of things. Dealing with solitude. Understanding your own subconscious. Understanding your own limiting beliefs that you may carry with you. The moon is all about not being sure about what you want to be directed in when it comes to your emotions, but knowing that there is some direction that needs to be taken, knowing that though you may not see something right now, it will be illuminated to you. There are many different pathways that could be illuminated to you at this time, okay? So remember that with the moon. I know like sometimes the moon, it's like looks scary and people always say like, oh, it means there's a secret. There's something horrible lingering and looming and, you know, like my bun here with this little crevice that's just unfilled, whatever. But like, it's, it's not is it's not as overbearing and, and, and like need to endure as it may seem, okay? Sometimes the moon card is just like I said. There's multiple things that could be happening, multiple pathways, multiple directions that you could be taking, but you don't see them yet. You maybe only have been seeing your path for leading you to one way, but the universe is like, hey, I want to show you that there's more options, okay? Especially when you learn to let go, especially when you learn to heal. A lot of things happen when we learn to heal and let go of things that maybe have uh, been burdensome on our emotions, okay? So then we also have the Three of Wands, first house of Aries. Think about what the first house asks you to do. It asks you to identify yourself. Learn about your own idea of how you put your attitude out there, how you put your first impressions out into the world, how you feel about yourself when it comes to the physical way you look, your own self-image, how you portray yourself to the rest of the world, okay? And when you deal with, when you're getting this type of energy, it's Aries, but it's in the sun. So it's making you feel really enlightened, making you feel really illuminated. Like I said, showing you your own, your own self, being aware of your identity, being aware of yourself. But I will say this much, the Three of Wands is all about, again, direction, choosing direction, seeing direction, seeing that things have potential to grow depending on what direction you take, needing to not contemplate on directions, knowing that you have a clear set pathway that you're trying to follow and knowing that whatever direction you take is the direction that you're meant to go in, especially if you want to expand, especially if you want to grow, especially if you want to uh, let go of certain things that you need to let go of when it comes to uh, feelings of uh, negativity, feelings of darkness, feelings of uh, not being empowered, okay? So when you learn to let go and you learn to follow the, the pathway that's led out for you, even if you feel like your pathway is uh, not directly been shown to you yet, the universe has strange ways of doing it for you and showing you where you're supposed to be and leading you to certain things that you are supposed to be led to, okay? And then with the moon card, <laughs> the moon card, you guys, <laughs> more moon energy I'm thinking of. This is the, uh, the high priestess. This is all about your own duality, understanding your negatives, understanding your positives. To me, this is 12th house and 4th house energy. This is a bunch of different energies to me personally, but it resonates the most with me with Pisces as well as Cancer energy. Needing to understand how stable and how much of a foundation you have set for yourself and how much healing you have done emotionally. Needing to understand the duality of yourself, okay? Needing to understand that life is not always rainbows and sunshine shines but it's life's not always rainbows and sunshines but it's not always darkness and in gray skies either okay it's both we both need the rain and the sun to grow things we need both uh fertilizer and water to have things on have things to uh to sprout have things to grow so when we learn to deal with our darkness and deal with things that maybe made us feel oppressed emotionally and even suppressed sometimes like when you choose to uh suppress your emotions and not show certain emotions can sometimes hinder you in other ways where maybe you kind of uh you don't show things that might be important for other people to see sometimes sometimes it's not about us sometimes it's not about 
what we need in certain situations. It's about what we can offer to other people in situations, okay? That's why I do the tarot. I do the tarot for myself as well as for other people that I feel might need to know. Like, you're not alone in the world and you're not alone in how you've been feeling emotionally, how you've been feeling mentally. We're all going through something uh, significant spiritually in our own existences, whether you're religious, whether you're non-religious, whatever you choose to believe in in this world, I know you feel the energy of it that pulls you and compels you to stay on this planet and to stay alive, right? And to keep trying and to keep trying to be the best version of yourself that you can be without hurting anybody else or without uh, hindering yourself in the process, right? So when you when you learn to uh, correlate all things and to uh, respect darkness and light the same, then you will be, uh, you'll feel so good about yourself, especially like with the high priestess, like all the lessons you've learned in your life, all the things you have uh, been able to heal from, again, a lot of healing energy and all of the things that you have been able to maintain emotionally and, uh, and keep solid because fourth house energy of cancer is all about being solid representing your emotions yeah sometimes it might be overly emotional sometimes it might be underly emotional but it's always represented with authenticity and from a place of truth from a place of uh just trying to push out the best emotional um the best emotional characteristic trait that you can share at the time okay so being very aware of sharing your own emotions and being very aware of as i said before like learning to uh know that sometimes we have so much to offer other people that we don't even understand like sometimes you just sharing a story with somebody or telling somebody about something you've been through can really help them to feel like they are uh not alone in this world or that they're on their own concept of how they're trying to understand their own emotions is valid and that's important too it's not always about like physical things or like what you can gain from other people or what you can gain from situations. It's a lot of things are to do with like, how can we share things with other people? How can we make other people feel good about themselves so that we can remain feeling good about ourselves? Okay. Cause like I said, life's not always sunshine and rainbows, but it's not always darkness and, and uh, rainy skies either. Okay. It's, it's both. It's, it's being aware of both and being aware of the need for both and understanding that like, so much can grow from uh, pain, so much can grow from happiness too, you know? So uh, being able to remain grateful for those understandings that we're, we're given in this life, okay? So then we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. 11th as well as 12th house energy, so Aquarius as well as Pisces. A lot of coming together with other people, socializing, understanding social concepts, then dealing again with those closures, those endings, those healings, those needing to be aware of your own beliefs that you may have carried with you throughout your whole life that have changed as you've went through life, sometimes we believe something so whole, wholeheartedly. And then as we get older, we're like, wow, I, you know, the way I've seen that or the way I have uh, expressed my understanding of that is so much different than how I express it today or how I see it in this light today, you know, or it's just like literally like feeling like you could believe one thing today and then tomorrow you believe a whole different thing. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you're challenging yourself, especially if you're challenging yourself um, spiritually, because that's that's the biggest energy shift you can do in this world is to challenge yourself spiritually and to understand that you are something of spiritual nature, you know, to understand that you have energy that can shift that easily and that quickly. Right. And how how it can affect other situations and other people, especially when it comes to that Aquarius energy, of like group pe group settings, um, other people and being aware of your humanitarian side of yourself it also deals with your hopes and your wishes and your dreams and like what you see for your future okay so knowing with the knight of cups that you have a lot of emotional validation to give to other people and knowing that you have a lot to offer other people when it comes to just being available to them okay so with that being said we also have the hermit card here sixth house energy of virgo virgo is all about our health how you analyze things how you see your certain habits within your work sector how organized you feel how useful you feel within your life how much you feel like you are able to uh illuminate to other people again as i say the hermit card is a card of going inward being very uh observant observing the outside world observing situations drawing light from situations that may have made you feel not so well um being aware of the need to be alone sometimes and to organize yourself in solitude to not always share all of your efforts okay and then being aware of 
when you do step out of this hermit energy, you are able to share something with the world that's bigger than just yourself because you have so much light in this lantern to share, so much knowledge to share with other people. So much opportunity has been given to you in this lifetime to walk a certain way. So when you choose to really uh, do as you are feeling you need to do and really choosing to uh, take care of yourself, take care of your habits, organize yourself, understand your own usefulness it really helps you to be available for other people to help them to find their sense of usefulness to find their sense of uh, purpose in this world and to just feel like they have a sense of uh, stability within themselves to feel like you have a sense of stability within yourself because the hermit goes into a mode of trying to uh trying to analyze things trying to see things from all different perspectives trying to understand why they have been given such a great light in their lantern okay it's like to me the hermit holds the star card light energy like of like wishes being granted and like finding your route and finding your uh, pathway and being able to mark anywhere you would like to mark and know that you will no matter how dark it it may feel to you, you will be able to see, you will be guided, you won't be lost, you won't be left in the dark, okay? So then with the six of pentacles here, this is second house energy, but it's in the moon, so maybe you don't see how much generosity you've been given and how much you have, uh, how much you've changed your habits, how much your ethics matter in this lifetime, okay? How much you uh, have been representing yourself in a way of bringing balance and harmony to other people, bringing a, a sense of like, I want to say just like I don't want to say like community but I want to say community because you might be like me like you're just not all about you don't want big groups of people around you don't want to be in huge social settings like outside of what you have to do for work or outside of what you have to do for like your business aspects right like your business areas in life so like you could be just like me so this makes you feel uncomfortable because you're like what the fuck are you talking about community how do i build community how do i bring community to uh situations how do i make people feel uh at peace or balanced or harmonious in their own lives right but it sometimes we don't realize like we have a vibe like you could bring the vibe of peace. You could bring the vibe of balance. You could bring the vibe of making people feel like they are comfortable and they can communicate with you properly and they can share things with you and they are open to uh, receive whatever you've been giving out there and you're open to receiving as well. You're open to understanding balance, harmony, bringing yourself into understanding of change and how necessary change has been for you to feel like you are at peace and for you to feel like you are in a state of balance and union with yourself as well as with your own um, idea of material wealth and material uh things that gravitate towards you materially so maybe that's all it's trying to say is like you are understanding of the things that you have been given and you are grateful for the things that you have been given and you are you are bringing your own self with the help of the energy that you're putting out there into a lot of balance and into a lot of harmony and bringing yourself into a feeling of uh, like communion with yourself. Okay. So that's important to know, like we are able to do that as well. Like we are able to bring our own selves into a lot of, uh, balance, a lot of harmony, a lot of, uh, abundance here with the 10 of pentacles, more six house energy, knowing that you are given all of the tools that you need in this life. You are overly abundant when it comes to your material world. You are overly abundant when it comes to how you choose to give your time and energy to other people and how useful you have been to other people. And a lot of people are grateful for you. So you should always remain grateful for yourself and you should be grateful for the opportunity that you've been given, even if it is those small little opportunities to come out and to share your light with other people. So don't ever, uh, don't ever forget that, how important you are, how useful you are, how much you are... Uh, your overanalyzation may actually bring a lot of organization to things, okay? So with all that I've said here, I feel like we're just bringing ourselves into a lot of uh, higher learning, higher understanding, knowing that things may not always be illuminated to us. 
certain pathways we might walk that we never thought we would walk before, certain directions that we had no idea were laid out for us may open up for us, doorways that you thought were closed or access to things that you thought you didn't have access to just magically open for you because of the way you magnetize in this world, in this universe, okay? And knowing that understanding positivity, understanding negativity, understanding the duality between the both, understanding the, the need for equality within the two is really important for things to grow and flourish. Understanding that no matter what you're given in this lifetime, you will always choose the direction that you need to choose. You will always choose the direction that makes you feel like you are open to um, the things that are you're wanting to open to in this world. We're not given things that we can't handle. We're not given things that we shouldn't be able to uh, navigate. We're not given things that we shouldn't be able to navigate through. We're given all the tools that we need in this life to make it to where we need to make it to. If we are able to understand how to emotionally react to things, how to physically react to things, and how to mentally react to things, okay? So here it's a lot of physical reaction, a lot of emotional reaction, a lot of, uh, I'll say this much, material reaction because we do have quite a bit of pentacles in our reading to, to let us know like we are very blessed, we are very abundant, and we should stay grateful and we should remain aware of how important we are to other people. So yeah, with that being said, I appreciate you so much and I hope that this message finds you when it needs to find you. I believe it will and I hope that you got something out of this other than just uh, watching me chitter chatter here in my kitchen. But if you didn't, if you just did, if you just clicked on this just to watch me talk in my kitchen, then I mean that's fine too. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you and I hope you have a lovely whenever this finds you. Thank you.